One of the things that modern astronomy has done for humanity is to show us the vastness of the universe. So we know, of course, that we're not the middle of the solar system and that our star system is one of hundreds of billions of stars in the Milky Way. And now we know there are hundreds of billions of other galaxies in the observable universe. This can give us, it gives me a sense of amazement and awe and wonder, but it can also feed a sense of insignificance. This is a feeling that we are totally insignificant because we're not in the middle of the universe. The universe is vast and our lives and our lifespans are tiny in this sea of space and time. So here we jump from science to philosophical interpretation. For me, I have that sense of spatial insignificance, but I also have a great sense of joy that I'm part of a species that, at least now, can look out and understand something about the context of where our life exists. There are mysteries that we're still trying to investigate, and we have a tremendous privilege to observe, to learn where we fit in, to think about the significance and the meaning of our lives, and hopefully to share this joy of learning and beauty of discovery with others around the globe. I think scientific discovery inspires art, it inspires music, it inspires, I think, deeply informed theology and philosophy and the other types of questions and endeavors that we have as human beings. I also think it's amazing that this life of which we are a part is able to contemplate itself, that we have this gift of thinking about the fact that we exist, of looking out to the universe, of appreciating its beauty, and of realizing that we're connected to it, that the very cells in our body are produced in other stars, to me that makes me feel not insignificant, but a part of something that is very significant. And I'm extremely grateful for that.